Hello everyone, I hope all is well. This is the second time I'm recording this, so I think I'll get a bit better this time. Um, I've got already got the music playing, I've got my Pepsi Max in hand, um, or Baby, Pe Baby Pepsi Max, uh, so I'll get more into that in a minute. Um, yeah, but uh, I think it's been a few weeks since I've recorded a video, or even written a blog entry. So yeah, I just wanted to do that really, and talk about a few things. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to talk about, uh, well, I'll rephrase. There's a few things I'm going to talk about, which include um, uh, being transgender, and um, and also the anniversary of that coming out, a few work related things in the Port in Portugal. Um, but before I do, so that's all coming, but before I do, I just need to talk about something else. Basically, I had a few messages after the last video with people asking me what was going on with the football related content for this channel. Now, even though I mentioned it at the end of that video, um, I'm going to say it again now just to make it easier. So, Central Bank, for those who haven't paid attention for some reason in my own videos, it's about 1500 miles that way at the moment, give or take. Um, so I'm not going to be attending many Lincoln games. Um, I will attend some Lincoln games. I'm back in the UK at the end of August and again in September. So I'm aiming to go to both the home games that during that time. But in terms of the away games, I'm not likely to attend one anytime soon uh, unless Lincoln suddenly win the FA Cup and end up playing like Sporting Lisbon or Benfica in the Europa League. Which, let's face it, is very much doubtful. Because they're going to be in the Champions League. Um, we're not going to be doing the Euro League. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry, football related joke. If you don't watch, if you don't watch my channel for football, that's just gone over your head completely. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, um, so Lincoln related content not necessarily going to be happening. Um, I might see what I can do, um, but yeah, I don't much doubt it because uh, most of the games I'll be watching on iFollow this season. Um, I might do videos for the games I am back, but to be fair. I don't really have a passion for doing Lincoln games anymore. Um, I've covered them in blogs, I've covered them in various other things, I'm not going to cover them again. Um, so yeah, uh, I am still planning on doing a few videos um, soon though, because uh, the football season starts again here in Portugal soon. Um, and I now live, in case you haven't noticed, I live in a new room. Uh, I got moved because of safety issues. Uh, I'm not going to go further into than that. Um, but yeah, so I now live about a 20 minute walk away from the Stadium of Sport in Lisbon, which is awesome, because realistically they're the team I've enjoyed visiting the most in, since I moved to Portugal. I've been to watch them twice against, um, they played Tondela, which was a one or draw. They beat someone 2-0, but memory escaped me who was, Mar no, memory to was Benfica when Benfica won 6-0. Uh, but anyway, I enjoyed it more than the other games I've been to in Portugal, I've been to about 5 or 6 now. So my plan is, um, they are playing Valencia in a friendly on the 28th of July, I think it's 28th, no, 26th, yeah, 28th, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I was looking at my laptop, I've got my laptop here with the music on. Um, so um, planning on going to that, assuming the tickets go on sale at some point, because they're not at the moment, um, with a few people from work, um, I'm going to go to that, I'm going to try and do a video for that. Um, it won't be to the same extent it used to be because I've got rid of Premiere Pro now because I don't need it. Um, it was a pain in the arse. Um, it wasn't as good as when I used to do the Blackburn Norks highlights. It was just too much of a pain, too many issues with it. And it's too expensive for my part. It was like 20 quid a month for something I barely used. So I'm just going to be going more now on Windows Movie Maker um, or whatever other software I can maybe get my hands up. We'll see. Um, so, yeah. Um, there's that. Um, I'll try and do a Benfica game at some point. There's a, a Seti Ball about an hour down the road. I've got Bellinenses also in Lisbon there, a top division side. There's a few first of the, uh, well, second level teams. There's uh, Estrel, there's Cove Piedad, about five minute walk from my old place. Um, I don't think I'll go there again though for the simple reason that I got cooked alive on that day. And I'm not that keen to go back. Not a sponsored video. I'm going to keep on saying that every time. It's going to be like a running joke. Um, uh, yeah, I've only just been able to get back onto this. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of water recently, which I'll get onto in a few minutes as to why. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the football related content. I'm doing a, I'm planning on taking a trip to Porto in a few weeks, maybe in August, um, for a weekend, uh, because it's, I found a coach company that does a trip all the way up there for like 4.99 in the UK. It's similar to a megabus, uh, so it's like 4.99 there and back is insane because it's like three hours away. Uh, in four hours on a coach. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that and hopefully get a game in there because that stadium is awesome. And I want to go for Braga at some point as well. I'm experience that quarry stadium. But, so that's the football related content done. Um, 
for those who stay for the foot who only want the football information it's done you can go I mean you can stay for the rest of it if you want don't bother me um, but yeah so football content is now done so um, I'm going to start with the main thing that's been happening recently and the reason I couldn't uh, start most of what the rest of I'm going to talk about after I change the song damn it why does this always happen why do I never get a run of songs I actually like why do I have an iTunes full of songs I don't like for the most part uh, good chat sometime around midnight by Airborne Talks event um, but, so anyway, um, so yeah, I went to the beach two weeks ago with a few people from work, um, and I took the opportunity to actually be sociable again for a change, because those issues I mentioned in my, I think it was my last video or the video before that, I can't remember, um, they caused a few issues with a few friendships, I'm not going to go into them, I'm not going to name names, um, mainly I respect more than anything else, uh, it's, I want to talk about it properly, but it's just, it'll cause too many issues, and it's, it's just too, uh, too, too risky, and I don't want to do it. Um, but anyway, I went to the beach with a few people from work. Um, this is on. I'm going to turn the lights on for this. Cause I think this is a light switch. I'm not entirely sure. To be fair, I've not actually touched this, this switch at any point. I don't know what it is, but it's not like on. Them. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you why I couldn't do this this back then on the actual anniversary we coming out as a trans. So you better take my turn the lights off. There we go. Right. I'm not sure how much difference that made, but basically, this is my leg. That's the normal colour of my leg. Um, my other leg is exactly the same. My torso, like right there, you can see a line there. These are hormone patches, by the way. Um, my arm to a lesser extent, so that's one side of my arm, that's the other. My face, all this area up here, sunburned to fuck. Um, it got to the point where I had to, I got so red I could barely move, because I was going to go to Pride in Lisbon, and I started making my way with the people I went to the beach to, with, but the, um, I, could, I started to really struggle to move on the Saturday evening, this was two weeks ago, and I ended up leaving, I just, everyone kept on saying I had sunstroke, so, and I just felt shit, so I left after about five minutes, uh, and I came home, went to bed, I tried to get through for a few days at work, and then on the Wednesday, I got in so much pain, I had to go to the pharmacy to get some painkillers. And they looked at me and they just said, is it for this? Because by this point, I had some massive blisters all over my body. Um, if you, I'm not going to, I can't, I'm not going to show you the pictures. Because it was fucking disgusting. Like, blisters all down there, all over all my legs, all around there. Not so much on here, except for like little water blisters where the skin starts to peel off. But yeah, it was fucking disgusting. Um, like big green, well, yellow blisters. And one of the people at work is a, she's trained to be a doctor. Um, she's fucking smart as fuck. Um, and um, she basically said to me, you have sunstroke, you need to go to the hospital. I ignored her. Um, until I went to the pharmacy where to get some painkillers. And they said, if it's for that, we're not giving you painkillers, you must go to the hospital. So I went to the hospital and immediately because I was they put me in a wheelchair and I was there for two hours just to have some cream rubbed on me. Uh, uh, now to be fair, that cream did one just because I said that and the other cream. Um, we speak of which? Follow me. Whoops. If you ever get sunburned, get this shit. This shit is amazing. That cleared up my blister patches in two days. That was insane. I mean, it's still, I'm still peeing now. I'm literally scratching my leg with my feet, so I shouldn't be doing that. But anyway, um, it's insane. Um, but yeah, um, that has sort of led me because basically, with uh, my company I work for, um, this, um, basically in Portugal, you get a national health card, but you only get that after being here for a few months, and my company will sort of sort out for you after you've been there six months. But anything before you, you have to pay for. And I suddenly have to pay for this. This came out of my pocket, and this, combined with a few other things, has financially fucked me over. Um, excuse me. I came with a lot of money, and that is pretty much all gone uh, because of this and a few other things. Like, say, for example, I've been learning Portuguese, um, and I've actually gone really extreme with it in the last few days. Uh, like, say, oh, baby, Pepsi Max, not sponsored. Um, and um, a, t a sentence I particularly like. Otato following voice, which is uh, the I'm going to speak some English. I tell you what, it's strange sentences, but you actually remember them. How bizarre the um, the sentences are. It's really weird. Um, but yeah, so um, 
yeah, it's fucked me over financially. It, uh, but um, this time last month, I was happily lending people like 30, 40, 50 euros, and one person only lent 100 euros. And now it's sort of the point where I, by doing that and having this unexpected event, I've sort of fucked myself over, really. Uh, now these people have said they'll pay me back. I'm not exactly in a hurry for it back. And there's now a bonus scheming system at work, so hopefully I'll be able to recover it pretty quickly. And I said, this has been a bit of a... Um, I just realised I started talking about Duolingo without actually referencing it again. Basically, uh, they said the membership was five ninety nine a month. Because the way it works, if you get five answers wrong, you have to then wait for like 20 hours for it to refresh. Um, so I joined and I said five ninety nine a month or whatever it was. And I thought, oh great, let's do that. And um, what I missed, or they didn't say, was that it's taken out for an entire year all at once. So all of a sudden that's 72 quid that I wasn't anticipating uh, coming out of my account. Um, so yeah, a lot of little things have added up to me being financially fucked now. Um, it's fine, I'll recover, but it's one of the things I'm just going to have to take care of. I really should stop scratching my leg. Uh, and turn take that off as well. So, let me never be said that I only listen to one type of music, by the way. I have no idea where that reputation has come from. I have a very varied mix. Those who uh, have listened to my um, Instagram story the last few days, and you can see me including on that, um, will know that. But anyway, uh, so yeah, it's fine, actually fucked me over. Um, and the lack of being able to move, uh, I'd say two weeks later, I'm still not fully over, I've still got skin peeling, so lack of being able to move, uh, lack of energy and all that sort of thing left me not really feeling well enough to write or do a blog entry. I did eventually, uh, I did eventually write one, which got featured in one of the um, one of the main stories on a trans a website that pulled all transgender related uh, blogs together, which was which is awesome to be fair. I didn't actually think it was worthy uh, compared to the other stuff that's on there because I do read some of the stuff. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. That uh, was uh, it's the second time they featured one of my articles, um, and that was really cool. Um, it was just basically about how on the second of July it was actually seven years since it came out as transgender, and this song was very important by the way for me during this process. So uh, this is Bleachers, and I want to get better. Bleachers are amazing. Um, they're an American band. I'm not going to tell you all about them, but basically this song pretty much saved my life. Um, in 2015, that's no, why 2014, I got so depressed because uh, I was in a job I hated. I was, in, I just didn't have any life satisfaction whatsoever. And I just came across this song one night, and it saved my fucking life so much to the point where I'm going to turn this off during this, um, during this. But I love this song. This song is one of my top five songs of all time. I love it. It may not sound that great, but it's just the meaning of the words. I'd recommend it. if you get a chance, go listen to it after this. So, Bleachers, I want to get better. And I've seen this band twice now. Uh, I'm actually going to turn it out again because I feel like I'm shouting. And as per the last video, um, the song got a bit too loud and you couldn't really hear me. Um, so, anyway, yeah, I, um, on July 2nd, it was seven years since I came out as transgender to most people. There was people who knew beforehand, but when it basically came known to the world. Um, and um, I just been reflecting on those last seven years in the last few weeks, um, especially as I've had some difficulties with people at work. Um, I want to say difficulties, I don't mean this in like my major arguments or anything, I'm getting on with most people. Um, it's just one of the things where like throughout my life I've always had trouble like with people misconstruing that I've, what I've said to mean something that I haven't meant it to be. Uh, like I'm not going to go into it because I respect the person too much and plus it's not the right place to actually do it. But one, member of the team has an issue uh, and I basically said oh, I've got a, I've got mine sorted uh, before I came um, and this person thought I was basically saying I was better than them uh, which I really wasn't <laughs> I was trying to show like empathy and everything like I was like I understand why um, why it's stressful and shit and it took it the wrong way um, we're fine now as far as I'm aware but um, yeah, this was one of the things I've been thinking about a lot since I moved to Portugal. How I've, a lot, I've changed a lot over the last seven years. I don't just mean physically, I mean emotionally, for example. Uh, like sometimes when your first take, some blood on the dance floor came on, and I said like that band, like the one here, I've got like three or four songs in there. But I haven't actually listened to them for many years. Um, mainly because my taste had changed. Excuse me. And that's that's one of the reasons why I've sort of uh, struggled with like friendship a lot since I moved here. Like a lot of people I'm friends with anyway. And I do like a lot of people that work here. As I live and work here. Um but it's just one of the things where when I first got here, I I came I came to Portugal for a few reasons. Um one of them was basically to start effectively a new life. Um I just wanted out of the UK, everything got stale. Uh too many people knew me, knew my past, um 
and the, like the bits I'm not even talking about in the book that I mentioned in the last thing, like some really dark places. Um, and he got to the point where I was very, very open about a lot of things. So, same example, I think I mentioned in the last blog entry, or the one before that, or vlog entry, sorry, I mentioned about the, um, about um, an evening where a few friends helped me get through a mental health e issue I was having. Um, and I, yeah, I got very keen on the friendship, and I ended up showing them all pictures of what downstairs look like after surgery, which is a very strange thing. It's one of the things where it's, I don't know why it came over me to show this picture. Um, it was a strange evening, but it's one of the things where it's like, it's just weird. Like, if someone came up, like, say, for example, if, say, uh, a transgender person came up to you and you, and, um, offered to show you a picture, assuming you knew them, obviously, not just some random transgender people on the street, and just said, Do you want to see a picture of, uh, what's down there now? You'd be like, oh, I'll be a lecture. And there was me just with my phone to go, Here you go. Uh, so yeah, it was, um, it's kind of weird. And it's what uh, I've since I've since learned that it's one of the reasons people started backing away from me a bit because they thought I'd been too full on, and I get that. It's uh, it's one of the things where I've always as I've struggled like uh, with that sort of thing. Like either I'm no, I'm not open at all, I'm too open, which one of the two. Um, so yeah. Um, but anyway, so that's one of the things that like changed in seven years, and this is one of the things I'm going to try and cover in the, the book of mine. But I mean, I'm sort of at a sort of standstill with that at the moment because everything's coming across as like really. Like, I'm trying to do it so it's come across as like, oh, these are, this is my life experience of uh, what I thought was right going into it, um, but this isn't the way to approach things at all. Um, so, say for example, how I practically ignored the doctor's advice after in the two weeks after leaving the hospital and um, didn't stay housebound, and I regret it now. Um, so stuff like that. But it's at the moment, it's really hard to come up with tips, and everything just feels very... It's almost like, I'd say, it's like I'm writing an autobiography, even though I'm not, because I'm a nobody, really. Um, not a lot of people, like, care enough about what I do. I mean, look, I don't have that many subscribers on here. I don't have that many followers on Instagram. I don't have that many followers on Twitter. I have a fair few friends on Facebook, but uh, most of my team years. Um, and this is one of the things where I, um... What's the saying? I feel like a dickhead now. What was I saying? I think I was talking about how things change. Anyway, oh yes, the book. So, so yeah, um, it's um, it's basically the point where I've written pretty much everything I want to write in terms of life experience in there. Uh, but at the moment it feels like they much like an autobiography for someone who is ultimately a nobody. Um, I, I'm trying to get more hints and tips and stuff in there. Uh, like, isn't it just general life advice? Uh, I've sent the book to a few people now, and the feedback I've got is generally positive. Um, so hopefully it'll all work out. It's about, if you fold it into, say, a normal sized book, it'll probably be about 150 pages at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to go with it. I'll probably just, I probably won't even try and publish it. I'll probably just end up uploading it to my blog um, and go from there. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting space to be in at the moment, really. Um, so yeah, um, that's where I am with that book at the moment. Hold that thought, there's a wasp just sort of hanging around outside my window. You better not come in here, you little fucker. Yeah, I think it's gone. Right, so, um, so yeah, uh, it's one of the things I was just thinking about, because I say it's seven years since I came out of Trinity, and there were a lot of things that changed in that time. Like those who knew me beforehand knew that I they rarely wore colours, for example, and yet uh, you can see I'm wearing sort of an orange, sort of like an orangey, peachy sort of colour at the moment. Um, and other times, uh, like in the first take, I like to wear a pink like crop top thing. It did not look good. It's one of the reasons I decided to record, record again because it looks a bit weird. Because um, uh, in the original, I didn't get up and show the legs for the sunburn. Because if I did, basically the crop top ended about there. So I might, that's what my stomach looks like. It's not a good look. Uh, amazingly, I've actually lost weight since I came to Lisbon. I was quite generally surprised. Because um, <laughs> uh, I've always been a bit on the bigger side. And I was convinced, like, I lost all the weight for the op last year, and I was so pleased with myself getting down to uh, below 14 stone. Um, and then, but when I came to Portugal, I was mid 16s again. Now, I would clarify that by saying that 
that was mainly because I, I had to not go to the gym for three months and then I was still working at Empire at the time and I couldn't um, and basically the only food they had there was all like, you know, typical cinema, cinema food really. Um, so yeah, so I'm just getting something prepared for in a minute because I want to show you guys something. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da, where is it? I'm sure it loaded its Twitter. Where's it gone? I got off on Facebook. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, it's um, yeah, it's just weird how like seven years have come and gone so quickly because it doesn't feel like seven years. It it doesn't feel like it just feels like it was a few months ago that I came out as Chang Chang Dinner as everyone. I mean, obviously a lot's happened since then. I've worked for several different companies since then. Um, I have fell in love with ice hockey even more than I was already before. Hence why I stole the Flames cap. Uh, go Flames. Uh, I'm hoping to get to a game at some point this coming season. I was hoping this can be year, but realistically that's not going to happen because of the finance issues. Uh, as I'm pretty confident I'm going to go cover that quickly, but not enough to go this year. Maybe hopefully later on in the season, because I think they have, towards the end of the season, they have four home games in the space of like a week and a half. So, hopefully go there. Anyway, um, you didn't come on here for ice hockey content. I've never done ice hockey. Well, no, it's totally I've done one ice hockey video back in the day. Um, so, yeah. Um, was it? Yeah, just um, a lot of things change. Uh, like you change personality, um, you change the way you dress. Like, uh, say if I opened that drawer right now, you'd see like a few years ago, it would have been mainly black clothes, like pretty much all black clothes. Whereas now I've got not necessarily these. Um, let's put. I always bought a, a top earlier with a, a rainbow on it. For fuck's sake, it, it doesn't suit me at all. Um, I do know which suit darker clothes because it's all to do with like hair colour. Uh, many this is my natural hair colour. I've gone. I've just decided to stick with brown for now. Doing any other colour just is just too much hassle. Like I'd love to. I saw a uh, hair colour like hair thing given out on Instagram, which people who saw my story at the time would have um, would have seen. Um, that was like full on rainbow. It was like a little like sticky up thing. Uh, then I thought it'd be so much hassle to maintain. Uh, I'm, I'm in my mid thirties now. I'm thirty five in in fucking less than two months now. Um, I'm too old to be having multicoloured hair like that anymore. I, I might, I might change to a more like one well, of the natural colours, like blonde or maybe ginger at some point, but not any of the like full on like rainbow style colours or anything. I'm just, I'm just, just done with it. I'm just, it's too much effort. Like I love having red hair, um, but it's just too much maintenance because it washes out really quickly, uh, and then you're just sort of left with hair that's not really any particular colour. It's just sort of bare. Um, not sponsored video. Told you. Um, in fact, while I'm here, so to show you this pink top I was wearing earlier, so so that's it there. That's me actually putting an effort in, to be fair. But yeah, you can tell there, like I'm about to put an effort in, I've got a bit of makeup on there as well. I had a shower before I recorded the first video, so it's like that's why I don't really put much effort in. Uh, I've never put much effort in, really. Um, and if I do, it's a special occasion. Um, but ah, there it is, finally. Um, so yeah, and this is one of the things where I just, I'm at that age now, uh, where I committed so, oh, let's just do it that way. I've committed so much to, um, to changing my body, uh, that I want to start doing more things like, um, be more adventurous, it's one of the reasons I came to Portugal in the first place, I wanted to experience living abroad at least once during my life. I never anticipated in Portugal. Cause I, um, I'm not sure if I ever told anyone, but I almost moved to America like permanently a few years ago. Um, I always thought it'd be America, Canada, or some, even Norway, because I still want to live in Tromso one day. Um, but I'm not sure Portugal's the country for me. Um, I'm not going to go into that. But yes, yeah, just want to try new things. Um, that's what I'm going to leave you on to meet what I'm going to do here. I'm thinking about getting my first tattoo. Now, I don't have a single one. But I'm thinking of getting one sort of like on either here or one of Quite you. Um, see, I'm thinking about getting one like there. So um, those of you who know me quite well will know I love a game called The Last of Us. Uh, it's amazing, and I can't wait for the second one. Even though it's not been announced, like released it yet. He's so excited about game. I don't show emotion that that often, but you just saw how excited I got though. But anyway, I saw a really cool tattoo on Google the other day that I really want to copy for like with. Now, most the only thing I'm going to copy from this is the character before I show you this. So I'm not going to copy any of the surroundings, but basically. That's the tattoo I want. So she is one of the two main characters, a girl called Ellie. 
Um, and that is just an amazing tattoo. Let's see if I can get it a bit closer. But yeah, that's a tattoo I want. Uh, like just her in that pose, and then I'm thinking, like, so if I get that sort of, so she, like that sort of area, so she's facing down. Then maybe Guy Bush and the Chuck from the Monkey Island series there. Maybe the Scorpion and a few other characters from other medium. Uh, I just want to start. I don't want to get something like too extreme or anything. I just want, I just want something. Like I've always said, I want this tattoo which meant something to me. And the figure like Last of Us is I only got it just over two years ago. And I was quite late to the game, but it's just such a good game. And I say complete grounding mode last year, which was the most difficult thing I've ever done. And I don't just mean just in games. I mean ever. It's like having the up was a cakewalk compared to complete grounding mode. Grounded was insane. Um, but it's the purest way to play the game. I've never played Last of Us on any difficulty other than Grounded ever again. It's genius. Such a good game and such a good game mode. You know, I mean, I hate the game. Excuse me. I just realised it's turning into a long video. Um, um, so yeah, um, so yeah, what else have I got? I've got nothing else to really talk about really. I say it's just one of the things about the book is still coming. Whether I actually try and publish it, whether I just upload it to my website, I don't know. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with it. I think I'm thinking it's just one of the things. I'm just gonna. For now, I just want to just want to try and just relax a bit more. So that's our mission because of all these sunburn ending. Um, I just want to try and relax a bit more, be a bit like uh, continue to be a better person. Uh, like I say, hopefully the people I'm actually with in Portugal will be tolerant of that. Uh, I say most people are fine. It's just the odd one or two that I'm having trouble with, and I'm just sort of like at the point now where it's like if you like me, great. If you don't, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm just done. Um, to be fair, I don't know how much longer we're going to be in Portugal anyway, so we'll see. Um, before, I do, before I go, because I realise I have a really big habit of saying, I'm going to go now, and then I'm still talking 10 minutes later. I'm just going to spend a minute just to think, um, just to see if there is anything. I'm just going to get my interviews prepared just in case I need to skip a song. Um, so. No, I think I've talked about it. So, yeah, quick summary. So, football videos, they will be returning, not Lincoln Games. Um, I, I'm doing a book. Um, whether it's going to be published or not, I don't know. I am still in Portugal. How long for? I don't know. Um, it's seven years since it came out as a chance. Nothing much more to say on that. Right, any questions? Pop below. Um, any, yeah, whatever. Have a good evening.